Hey everybody, AmpreparaGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So sorry, I started working on this uh, prior to taking the video. So all I did was remove the inno caps, swapped out the shaft. The other one was bent a little bit. I don't know how that happened. Well, actually, because the... Well, I don't think that happened from shipping, but... This was bent a little here, so I, I fixed it um, the best I could. So, input rotary switch is okay. So, as the old plate choke, I'm going to remove that. Put the parasitic board in. Add the spring of diodes on the board back there. Add gas discharge tubes at the sockets to the bias modification. Got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes, so I'll install those. My phone, customers text a lot, so I'll have to respond to them right after the video. So anyway, I will uh, get back to you soon. This was made in 1991, so this is an oldie. Old is good. The open frame relay. I'll put brand new SO239s in here. I'll change this plug. This is kind of dangerous. So, I'll get my SO239s from Max Gain Systems. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> so, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you. A quick video added the gas discharge tubes, string of diodes, change the SO239s. Coil was unsoldered from the support here. The conductor was really close to the capacitor, the load cap coming from the coil. Uh, these are the wrong caps, so disconnect this side. I'll disconnect the other one, put the proper ones in. The connection to the chassis is super loose too, so I have to fix that. So yeah, I'll be back. See you soon. Be a better look here now that the other one's disconnected. That is not acceptable, okay? Right, back to work. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811. So I'll go over everything I did. Did the bias modification, changed the meter protection diode, it was shorted. So the nut on the back of the air variable cap on the plate side was backed off almost to the end of the thread. So I put an internal tooth lock washer on and then put the nut back on and snugged it up with a wrench new parasitic board from Tom new plate choke from Tom I ended up taking the phenolic one out that I put in because it was had like a little bow in it so I put the proper one in with some uh, heat shrink material over it in case the strap touched it even if it you never want to lay the strap over it because it's still going to flash it just helps a little I guess I've seen the stock ones where that happens so Okay, so clean the input rotary switch with the oxy gold, put the diode string in for the between the center tap and the tear relay, clean the tear relay, change the SO239s, put good ones in from Alan Braun, Teflon Dielectric. I don't just tighten the screw with a screwdriver, a couple of them are loose. I always put a quarter inch wrench on them and, and get them really snug. So tighten up on the screws, the board, the back, and the opposite side. Clean the output rotor switch with deoxy gold. I changed through to those two capacitors. It's supposed to be a 500 puff and a 360 puff at 1 kV. So here's the old style plate choke, the old caps, the old parasitic suppressors. Right, those caps, the old SO239s. So even if these ones have good grip, I always change them. And the other one's usually one or the other. Can have poor grip. They're just not high quality. The problem is if someone puts them in, like I said before, the solder glove, or if they plug it in at an angle, they they just end up getting destroyed real quick. So so it doesn't take long, and you never want an open on the output of any amplifier. So checked on all bands, works as it should, and uh, that's about it. I always zip tie the wiring. This is silver plated stranded Teflon dielectric wire. I have a lot of it, so why not use it, right? awesome stuff so the relay I don't know if I said it before but I clean that really well with toxic cold and gas discharge tubes just in case I forgot to say it so anyway it's been a long day I've uh, 
filled a bunch of Harbach orders and I have more. I have another master kit to fill and um, someone bought three board kits so some other stuff, fan kits, all sorts of stuff so keep them coming try to get them out within one business day if not I'll send you a text but it's usually like I said if someone orders like a whole bunch of something one day and I end up running out then I have more coming it could just take another day like half a day so but I try to stay on top of things I don't can't have uh, you know certain things I, I just can only put out so much I have you know so much stuff sitting around so anyway thanks for watching have a great day phone number is 203-892-4119 Websites are ampreparegui.com, also harbachelectronics.com, sorry, electronics.com. New set of Pentalab tubes, awesome company, awesome customer service. I'll say it again, the only way I'll work on one of these is if the customer is willing to upgrade to 572s. 811, the Chinese ones just have too many problems. They'll, you know, no matter who you get them from, they just have too many issues. So I don't want um, a customer to have... An issue. I want the amp to be one and done. I'm not someone that's looking for repeat business over the same, you know, I mean, with the same amplifier over a course of time. I want them to call me up and say, hey, it's working great. I love it. You know, thank you so much. Or I got another amplifier where I referred a friend or whatever, you know. Um, so this is uh, more of a passion than anything fixing these amps. So. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And again, please like, share, and subscribe. And I love comments. So if you have something to say, feel free to say it. Take care. 73. I forgot to add that the meter lamps were out. So I put in brand new LEDs. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.